Hello, welcome to This Week in Anime History, the sometimes weekly series where I talk about major moments in anime history. And this week we have a few things I want to talk about, particularly um, the fact that on April 12th, 1945, um, uh, the first feature-length animated film made in Japan was released in theaters in Japan, Momotaro's Divine Sea Warriors. Unfortunately, it came out in April 12, 1945, near the end of the war, and it is a very heavy-handed propaganda film. Um, and so um, it uh, um, did not fare very well after the war because of its messages. Um, and it is a very heavy-handed propaganda film. If you, um, you can find it out, out, uh, out there. Funimation released it on Blu-ray recently, uh, or a couple of years ago. Um, so if you're looking for anime history, that is definitely anime history. First feature-length animated film in Japan. Um, it's out there. There are musical numbers. It's an interesting ride. Um, but that does exist. That is, that is a thing. So if you're interested in that, um, you can definitely uh, uh, go and get that. Then we have, uh, let's see here, um, uh, uh, <laughs> a day later but earlier in history. In 1933, we got the first talkie cartoon shown in Japan. Uh, this was a cartoon called... Um, I believe Within the Realm of Women in Power? Was that the name of it? Uh, something along those lines. Uh, let me just pull that up here real quick. I want to make sure I get that right. Um, it was the first talkie cartoon produced in Japan. It is um, about a man and a woman. Big shock there. Uh, it is uh, Within the World of Power and Women. That, that is the, the title. So it was first shown in Japan in 1933, their first talkie cartoon. Um, so, uh, you know, 1933, not too bad. Uh, in terms of time and so forth. Then, let's see here, we've got um, 1954, we saw the birth of Katsuhiro Otomo, creator of Akira, both manga and anime. He drew the manga and then directed the, the anime film, which was Epochal. Um, absolutely a, a huge success of a film and helped usher in a lot of the big financial success of the 90s. Um, Really, really big success there, and Otomo has gone on to direct other uh, anime films, particularly a lot of um, short uh, collection pieces. Uh, really interesting guy. He does some really interesting stuff. If you like sort of the more serious adult stuff, that's kind of what Otomo does. Uh, and if you've only seen the Akira anime, go out and check the manga. There's a lot more manga out there, uh, which dives into that story more. Then in 1988, we got the worst double feature in human history. Uh, Grave of the Fireflies and My Neighbor Totoro premiered back-to-back. In theaters, uh, yes, you would go in and you watch Grave of the Fireflies and then My Neighbor Totoro back to back. Um, but these were um, two films by the the nascent studio Ghibli, um, and helped really cement the or helped establish the reputation of that studio. Uh, Grave obviously being a very serious war film and serious literature, and then Totoro being a lovely family film, uh, which helped establish Hayao Miyazaki's reputation for uh, family films. So a uh, really important moment there for, for anime. That's, that's where Studio Ghibli got going. And it was Totoro that helped them with merchandising. The Totoro plushies were the first uh, major merchandise uh, produced for Studio Ghibli stuff. And they sold out like in no time. Uh, and it helped uh, finance things and keep things moving for Studio Ghibli. So that is, that is really cool. Um, so that is, um, that is uh, This Week in Anime History. Hope you found that interesting. And... Uh, you know, it's always interesting to, to find out what happened in the past because that informs the future, and the present, which informs the future. That's how that works.